Hi everybody, welcome back to the movie. And again, we were talking uh, about the, the song, I Saw the Light. And once you become familiar, getting getting uh, familiar with the, the bottom portion of the neck, you can start to move up the neck if you'd like and, and find the melody notes just a little bit higher on the neck. And again, it's really important to be able to know all, all your positions. Remember your, your first string, second string, and third string positions. And if we come up to the second chord, uh, the second string position, we can start to find the notes up here. Again, singing it in your head. Now I jumped up here for that B note. You don't have to. Again, this is something where you can find the notes and experiment on your own uh, trying to fit these rolls ar around the melody. See, I, in this, let me just play it. Finding the melody notes. And again, trying to incorporate any roles that you would like around those melody notes and again don't don't be afraid to use pinches in anything that you're trying to that you're trying to play um, because again uh, the, blue, the, the bluegrass banjo doesn't have to be filled up with constant notes and actually it, I, I think it sounds better once in a while to uh, to break these things up and I and I kind of went over this in the earlier lessons if you want to kind of review them a little bit. So that's a little bit about um, playing by ear and using your ears and uh, again even using your eyes to watch a g guitar player switching chords and then that all that's all going to come together where you're going to start to hear things the more you play so um, why don't you support your local economy and go out to a bluegrass festival this summer and uh, do a lot of jamming and have a lot of fun and I wish everybody the best and we'll see you on the other side everybody that's musicmoosh.org